Good morning and welcome to this week's video. This week we are here at Hanging Rock State Park. Um, yes, back here again. I was here at Hanging Rock State Park a couple weeks back doing a video on my case filters, which if you have not checked out, um, I will link it up here at the top and in the description below and at the very end of the video. Um, but we are coming to the Upper Cascade Falls for one purpose, and that is to photograph the waterfalls with the rhododendras. So when rhododendras, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, are this is this shrub that's right behind me that has these purple pinky flowers and they're in full bloom right now. And so my whole goal is to try to get a photo of the waterfall with the rhododendrons blooming. So it's a really quick, easy little hike in, hike out, grab this photo and then continue on with the rest of my day. So um, it is very rainy and cloudy today. Right now the rain's not, it's not really raining right at this moment, which is great. But my, the portion of the waterfall I want to get to is down a little bit more of an embankment. And so it'll probably be really muddy. Um, anyways, ah, they're just so pretty. I love the rhododendras. Ah, give me flowers, all the flowers in the world. I love them. So anyways, we are gonna, we're almost actually to the part where we're gonna hike down and uh, yeah, so we'll catch you, catch you in a few. All right, so made it to the waterfall. Um, so there's two tiers to this waterfall. There's up here behind me is kind of like the upper tier, the upper Cascade Falls. And then right down here is kind of this lower portion of the Cascade. And from what I can tell, cause what I decided to come to this little outcropping before I hiked all the way down. Um, and that's mainly because there's, it can get a little bit high, the water level. And so I wanted to make sure that one, I could see if I could actually get to the area one I, that I want to and two, to see if the rhododendras by this lower falls are blooming. And it does not appear that they are blooming. Dang it. Um, but yeah, um, there's some that are like right here on the slope that are blooming, but not yet down in the valley area that I'm wanting to go to. So, huh. Dang it. Maybe what I'll do, hmm. I'm really bummed right now. I was really hoping that they would be blooming. I was hoping that I was late enough in, in the month or early enough in May, but late enough from April that they would be blooming um, in these lower valley areas. But I'm really, not gonna lie, I am very disappointed. Maybe not very, I am slightly disappointed. It's spring. I was just a little bit more hopeful. Okay. Well, I'm here. Might as well just go down there, see we got, see what I got, and see if I can't figure out exactly maybe how many more weeks I need before those are blooming. I'm very disappointed, but I'm here, and well gonna make the best of it so we're just gonna get down the slope get there ah! so we're down here at the waterfall thankfully it wasn't too muddy a little slick but not too much getting down here and yeah we are these are all the redundas redunda was however the hell you pronounce it i don't know but this right here will someday here soon will just be flowers and so my idea my vision i have is this waterfall with these flowers over here and just making for a really nice serene peaceful photograph and so I guess what I was hoping would be a uh, snap in the photo that I'm dreaming of is becoming more of a scouting trip. Maybe in two weeks, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks, this should be in full bloom. 
and then I'll be able to come back, grab this photo that I have in my mind of this particular waterfall. Um, but today is not gonna be that particular image I have in mind, but with the greenness and the wetness and stuff, it's a, it'll just make for a nice little clean photo. So I'll snap a couple photos and then, yeah. And we'll see what we got. Okay, so kind of got my camera set up. I've snapped a couple photos um, and I'm really liking the way it looks. And <laughs> I feel like this is just what I get for trying to squeeze in photography in the mist of rain. Oh, good heavens. This is, <sighs> oh well. Okay, back to what I was saying. Um, my camera setting. Oh, ha, did that stop real quick? I was like, all of a sudden it just poured and then it stopped. So I'm not just gonna do that here again soon. But um, anyways, I kind of have my camera set up and I really like the composition. And so I'll go, go over my, camera settings. So right now I'm doing this at uh, 24 millimeters for my focal length. My ISO is 200 because it is cloudy. It is really low light here. Um, I don't yet have my polarizing filter on right now. I'm just taking a couple photos without the polarizing filter, but we'll probably be putting my case polarizing filter on here in a moment. Um, and mainly to knock off any of the glare. <laughs> I may put on the polarizing filter just to knock some of the glare from the rain and the moisture that are on the rocks just to kind of maybe help help just take a little bit of that glare off from the the rain and so my camera settings are f9 ISO is 200 because it is lower light my shutter speed is a half a second at this moment in time and I'm finding that that's a really good shutter speed to get a little bit smoothing out of the water Okay, so I have switched. I have put on the polarizing filter. I've taken a couple of photos. I've adjusted my tripod just a little bit to get a little bit lower of an angle, just to try a couple different angles and vantage points. Um, my camera settings, let me swap it back over. Um, with the polarizing filter on, I did bump up the ISO to 320. Aperture is still F9, so I can try to get as much as in focus as possible. And my, right now my shutter speed is two inches, or two inches, <laughs> two seconds. Holy smokes, can you not tell it's the morning? Oh my Lord, this is really one of those mornings. I hope I make it back to my car in one piece and then make it home. I feel like that's how this day's going. But I am just, I'm just so bummed that there's, the redundarins are not blooming. But I still think I have some nice photos of the spring and here at the Upper Cascade Falls. I am definitely gonna have to come back maybe in a couple weeks. I feel like, I feel like we are, if I can't get wig, not completely wet, but I'm feeling just looking at the buds of what will become flowers. I'm feeling like we are a couple, a couple more weeks away from them being bloomed, from blooming. Cause I don't even see any pink yet coming through. So it's just still like a little seed pod. So 
Uh, maybe in a couple weeks I'll be able to come back and snag this photo that I dream of, that I will get. But yeah, just not, not today. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and write up this week, week video. I will show those photos that I took of the waterfall today here in just a moment. But thank you guys for coming along on this photography adventure. This is, this is life as a landscape outdoor photographer. Some days it rains, some days it's beautiful, some days it's cold and snowy. Some days the photos that you have in mind or you're hoping the flowers are blooming just right aren't there. And the thing is, it's like not every single time you go out to take photos, is it gonna be the best day or are you gonna get that best photo or the photo that you dream of? But the, matter, the fact is, what matters the most is you getting outside, practicing, finding composition, messing with the shutter speed. So anyways, you guys, if you like this video and the photos that I took, hey, consider giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do so you can continue to come along on my photography journey. Sometimes they're miserable, I'm miserable, but maybe you're enjoying it. And sometimes are fantastically fabulous. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I can only imagine that my day will go up from here. So anyways, you guys take care. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.